How to work with Kara Print 4.0 Before you start, make sure you have set up all your equipment according to the Quick Setup Guide video or the instruction manual. First, remove the build platform and clean it with isopropanol. Then place it back inside Kara Print 4.0. Screw the knob firmly, but do not over-tighten. Remove the tray and clean both sides of the illumination window with isopropanol. Wipe both sides of the window with a microfiber cloth and check for any damage or residue. Make note of the max fill line and reinsert the tray until it clicks and you can see the green line fully. Shake your bottle of resin before filling the tray with the desired amount of material. Wipe the mouth of the bottle clean before closing. If you pull the tray out partially to facilitate pouring, push it back into place when finished. And then close the front cover. Turn on Kara Print 4.0. Tap Library and select your desired print file. Hit Continue. Next, select the appropriate material and the desired resolution. Check the details on the screen and hit Print. Please wait for the print to process. When the print is complete, the power button will flash and the Print Finished screen will appear. You can now remove the building platform with the appliance or appliances attached. Pre-rinse the appliance or appliances with isopropanol and blow dry. Remove the entire assembly from the platform using the plastic scraper. Rinse again and blow dry. Put it in white isopropanol pre-clean jar. Place the jar in an ultrasonic dental cleaner filled with cold water for 3 minutes, flipping halfway through if not completely submerged. Try to complete the entire cleaning process in less than 3 minutes, as longer exposure to isopropanol can result in surface discoloration. To protect against the buildup of vapors, just lay the lid on top. Do not screw it shut. Remove the restoration from the pre-clean jar, blow dry and place in the post-clean jar. Put post-clean jar in the ultrasonic cleaner, flip halfway through if not fully submerged. Remove the appliance or appliances from the jar and blow dry. Cut off the supports. Place the splint or other dental appliance on a model to prepare for post-curing. Post-cure the splint on its model for 5 minutes. Remove the splint from its model. Then post-cure the reverse side for an additional 5 minutes. Remove the final remnants of the supports using three different dental polishers, such as those shown on screen. The splint is then polished using a pumice solution. First, a fleece polisher is used, followed by a fine goat hair brush. For best results, a fine goat hair brush is recommended.
Finally, polish the splints using a cloth polishing brush and high gloss polishing paste. Now you can clean the splint with a steam cleaner at a distance of 10 to 15 cm or 4 to 6 inches. Now that it's finished, you can check the fit and appearance of the final product on the model.